I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This episode is going to be spotlighting events and activities for the 4th of July weekend. So, the annual Brazos Nights concert series and 4th on the Brazos celebration has been canceled by the city of Waco as a precaution against COVID-19. There is still so much to do around town this weekend. Not only is this Independence Day weekend, but it's also First Friday. That means there's fun and exciting events happening all over. Up first, we're going to be talking about the First Friday events happening today. Up first is the grand reopening of Lighthouse Coffee. On Friday, July 3rd, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., Lighthouse Coffee and Wine is having their grand reopening to showcase their new craft cocktail and wine selection. Shop by and grab a bright summer cocktail or a whole bottle of wine. They will have some yummy snacks courtesy of Barnett's Public House and some great swag and more. This is a family-friendly and open to the public event. It's going to be lots of fun. They will, however, be complying with the state and local health regulations, so please bring your mask. Speaking of Barnett's, this Friday they will also be doing their Friday night specialty dinner. You can join Barnett's Pub for a weekly Friday night specialty dinner. This Friday, July 3rd from 7 to 10 p.m. It's a four-course meal for only $25. A reservation is required and drink pairings will be available. The menu for tonight's menu is watermelon salad, a Jack Daniels glazed quail, roasted pork loin or mahi-mahi, and finishing off with some bread pudding. This is a great way for you to spend your Friday night and you don't have to cook at home. Speaking of some great drink pairings, Uprox is doing a live Balcones online tasting event. You can join Zach Johnson of Uprox and Caitlin Skassadin of Be Fat, Be Happy as they host a virtual tasting of five of Balcones expressions on Instagram Live. On Friday, July 3rd from 2 p.m., head on over to the Uprox Live Instagram page and join them. Balcones expressions will be featured, so please feel free to pick up a bottle or two. They'll be tasting Baby Blue, True Blue 100, the Ramble Cask Reserve, and the Texas Single Malt, finishing off with the Brimstone. So cheers, it's Friday night. There's also going to be pop-up programs at the Waco Mammoth National Park. Starting July 3rd, you can join the National Mammoth Rangers for an informal pop-up programs throughout the summer. Pop-up programs are short, on-demand informational sessions and programs that range from 5 to 10 minutes long. Topics will include Our Amazing Sun, The Odyssey of Ologies, learning through citizen science, missing pieces and mammoths and elephants, and many more engaging programs. The poppets will be offered daily, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 2 p.m. until August 31st. This will be happening at the park's amphitheater area located along the Dig Shelter Trail. And there's no cost to attend this event, so it's a great way to get outside and spend time with the family this summer. Up next is our Independence Day event. Starting is the Humane Society's Independence Day celebration. This will also be happening on Friday, July 3rd, starting from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Humane Society of Central Texas is going to have over 100 adoptable animals, and you will learn how to keep your animals safe during the 4th of July fireworks event. Did you know that more animals run away from home on 4th of July than any other year? They will give you some tips and tricks on how to keep your pets interactive and eager animals during the events. They will also be having information available on how you can become a foster home or volunteer. Plus, Bark and Paws Outfitters will be there with a wide array of pet gear so you can personalize them on the spot. Masks are required to keep both you and the staff safe. So, if you're interested in adopting or fostering an animal, please be sure to bring your kids and your dogs so they can do meet and greets. Up next is the 6th Annual Spokes and Sparklers event happening on July 4th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Tonkawa Falls. Come out to Tonkawa Falls for a bike ride distance of 12, 26, and 48-ish miles, route for all cyclists. Picnics are there to follow. Hot dogs will be provided, and everyone just has to bring a side to share. It is BYOB, and they will provide ice water in the coolers, and the rest is up to you. And yes, do bring your swimsuit, because there is water, and the falls are flowing. 46 milers to start at 7 a.m. to beat the heat, while everyone else starts at 8 a.m. Helmets are definitely required, along with masks during the event. This is a free event, sponsored by Uncle Sam and the Bear Mountain Bike Shop, so it's free, and registration can be made online. Up next is the Cake of More Independence Day Cupcake Extravaganza. On Saturday, July 4th, 
Come by from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. for their famous apple pie cupcakes made from scratch with a filling made from freshly peeled Granny Smith apples for just $1, along with 100% made from scratch American apple pies. There will be patriotic decorated cookies, red, white, and blue cakes, and red, white, and blue cheesecakes. So grab them and get the goodies. Speaking of goodies, there will be a popcorn and lemonade fundraiser hosted by Waco's First Assembly of God happening on July 5th from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Waco First Assembly of God is having a popcorn and lemonade fundraiser to help send the final payment for their youth camp in two weeks. Their youth will be selling popcorn and lemonade after service to bring the total of their $700 needed down just a little bit. So go ahead and go by and support them. They also will be doing delivery. Since the fireworks were canceled this year, it's going to be a fireworks flashback. This year, the Waco City Cable Channel will provide video coverage of the 2019 HEB fireworks extravaganza for everyone to enjoy virtually from the comfort of their own home. The fireworks show, along with the music from the Waco's community band, will air on Friday, July 3rd, starting at 9 p.m., and again on Saturday, July 4th at 9 p.m. WCCC-TV can be viewed on Spectrum Cable Channel 10 and HD on Grindr Channel 810. For those without cable and who are wanting to view it from their TV sets, can see the same live coverage and can be viewed from their website at www.wccc.tv or from their mobile app. This weekend will also be the American Open Disc Golf Tournament presented by Legit Disc Golf. The City of McGregor is excited to announce that they are beginning a yearly disc golf tournament that will bring players to the city and parks. They have been wanting the disc golf to grow and looking to host a Waco caliber event in the future. So get ready! It's the second annual McGregor America Open. This is a two-round, one-day, B-tier, Pro-Am tournament hosted by Amsler Park in McGregor, Texas. Amsler Park is an 18-hole course featuring 90D veteran baskets. Each basket has tee pads and create two very distinct different holes. It plays along a winding creek most of the way with water coming into play and a few holes. It's wonderfully designed with the right amount of challenge while still being great and fun to play. It was dubbed locally as the Mini Beast and it offers great lines through technical fairways and big shots on Stretched Out as well. The tournament will take place beginning at 8 a.m. Saturday at Amsler Park, and the event is currently sold out with 45 players already signed up, but the people in the park are free to watch while you're practicing social distancing. Last but not least, the Dr. Pepper Museum is doing a patriotic Pepper Mentos explosion. With so many firework displays being canceled this year, the Dr. Pepper Museum staff wants to make sure things still feel festive. They're hosting a patriotic Pepper Mentos explosion. You can join them on Saturday, July 4th at 7 p.m. on Facebook Live to watch two liter bottles of Dr. Pepper explode in the courtyard while it's synchronized to the Star Spangled Banner. And that's all that we have for today. Thank you for tuning into this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. This has been Rogue Media Network Podcast. Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything. And, and basically, I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best. And we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about... Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one-star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, 
we will peel back that one star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story.